Is Steven Gardner returning to his best? Do you think he will return to the podium in Budapest? The men's 400 meters has been a Caribbean event since Jamaica's Arthur Wind took gold ahead of his teammate Herb McKinley at the 1948 London Olympics. Throughout the years, various athletes have added their own contributions to this event. Cuba's Alberto Quantorina, Jamaica's Gregory Houghton, Alan Francique of Grenada, and Christopher Brown of the Bahamas have all won medals in the event. But in recent times, more Caribbean have become successful in this event. At the London 2012 Olympics, a then 19-year-old Kirani James of Grenada was able to win the 400 meters with a then national record of 43.94 seconds to become the first Caribbean man to run under the 44 seconds barrier and led home a Caribbean clean sweep in the event. Luguelin Santos of the Dominican Republic was second with 44.46 seconds and Trinidad and Tobago's Lalonde Gordon was third with a personal best of 44.52 seconds. Since then, a lot more Caribbean men have been wanting to do this tedious event. The world got a chance to see Steven Gardner of the Bahamas win his first major championship medal when he ran 44.41 seconds silver in the 400 meters at the London 2017 World Championships behind world record holder Wade Van Nykerk of South Africa, who ran 43.98 seconds to claim gold. This performance was the beginning of something special for Steven Gardner. He went on a trajectory of being undefeated in all races that he has completed until this present moment. At the 2019 Doha World Championships, Gardner was able to win the 400 meters with his current personal best and Bahamian record of 43.48 seconds to win convincingly. Gardner followed up this win by taking gold two years later at the Tokyo Olympics. Box for Gardner in lane three, the Bahamian. Curly's outside him and he's made a good start, the American. It's pretty even at the moment. Karani James coming up onto the shoulder of Zambrano, the 21-year-old Colombian. Stephen Gardner trying to become the first Bahamian to win this title since 2001. It's quick, it's very quick. Gardner takes the title. What a comeback on the outside from Zambrano. The 21-year-old finished like a steam train. Things were shaping up for him to defend his world championship title in Eugene in 2022. But things did not go according to plan. As the week of the world championships, Steven Gardner had to pull out due to injury, which made Michael Norman of the United States win the world championship title. Kirani James was second and Matthew Hudson Smith of Great Britain was third. Steven Gardner has been determined to return to the 400 meters and the Bermuda Grand Prix provided him that opportunity. Gardner got an average start with his countryman Alonzo Russell being there with him at the 200 meters mark, but Gardner quickly separated himself and took the win in a season's best of 44.42 seconds to signal to the world that he is slowly getting back on top of the 400 meters. Alonzo Russell was second with 44.24 seconds and Trevor Stewart of the United States was third with 45.58 seconds, while Jamaica's Javon Francis was fourth, a season's best of 45.81 seconds, and his compatriot Demish Gay in third with 45.92 seconds. Steven Gardner looks to be regaining his form and should be ready for the Budapest World Championships in August. Do you think that Steven Gardner will return to the podium in Budapest? Please, let us know in the comment section below. Stay tuned to Gyro Caribbean Sports as we bring you all the action from the 2023 track and field season. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as we celebrate the achievements of all our Caribbean athletes together. This is Gyro Caribbean Sports.